Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to Microsoft, official support will be ending for Windows 10 next year on October 14, 2025. Although Microsoft has offered corporations and enterprise users and education customers the extended security update program, which I've posted on, I'll leave that video link down below and in the end screen. And also for home users, you can extend support for one more year if you pay $30 for an extra 12 months of support. That video will also be linked down below and in the end screen. Now, according to reports doing the rounds online, Microsoft now is increasing the amount of full screen ads on Windows 10. Um, obviously, the closer we get now, we've got less than a year, the closer we get to that end of support, they are going to kind of increase the amount of um, ads and notifications are obviously wanting you to update and move on to Windows 11. And this is the first one that's become available where it says do more with a new Windows 11 PC. So Microsoft is not even talking about updating in this, this um, what I call a nag ad. They just want you to do more with a new Windows 11 PC where they say if we zoom in, um, rest assured we have you covered. Windows 11 makes it easy to move your favorite files and apps over, continue to experience everything you already know and love with battery, life that lasts faster, web browsing, enhanced security, and so on. And they also are advertising Copilot Plus PCs here if you want the ultimate Windows 11 experience. Now something interesting about these banners, and we'll look at another one um, just after this, is that... If we look here, the only options they give you are remind me later and learn more. There's no cancel or anything like that. So Microsoft really getting quite aggressive now the closer we get to that end of support date. Now obviously um, that is to be expected. Um, obviously Microsoft wants to keep users safe and secure for want of a better word. But they are not even giving you the option here to upgrade just do more with a new Windows 11 PC, which I think is a little bit cheeky. And also, there is no mention about the extended security updates program or the $30 for an extra year. So Microsoft really, really getting quite aggressive for users to move on to Windows 11. And if we head to the next one, if we just... This next one is about Game Without Limits. And what they're talking about, Jay, is obviously that Windows 11 is better when it comes to a gaming. And if we zoom in here once again, if you're ready for a new PC, Windows 11 satisfaction is the best in Windows history and helps millions of people just like you play more games in more places in more ways. And I think saying that Windows 11 is the best in Windows history I think that's very cheeky. I don't agree with that statement at all. I'm, I personally think there have been better Windows editions and versions than Windows 11, but nonetheless. And uh, um, they also say, uh, learn more about the Windows 11 tech that enables expansive worlds to load in less time to play to be played at higher frame rates and witnessed in more vivid colors. So once again, no option to cancel, remind me later, learn more, and no mention in this game without limits, nag ad or notification, whatever and however you want to refer to it, no mention of the $30 um, for an extra year for home users or the extended security update um, subscription for education customers and enterprise um, customers and so on. So I think the closer we get to the end of support, um, we are going to start seeing a lot more of these so-called promotions, nag ads, um, whatever you want to refer to these as, um, making their way onto Windows 10. So if you are seeing it, that's why, and just wanted to put it out there, and obviously I'll keep you guys posted. Um, the closer we get, obviously, over the next couple of months to the end of support, obviously I'll keep you guys posted on what Microsoft um, obviously informs us about the closer we get and every anything in regards to the end of support for Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.